you think in your heart, so are you. It's like, okay, if you constantly think in turmoil in your heart, that's what's going to happen. Growing up in the region, Patrick Sabatis says he lived in a middle class household ruled by an abusive father. He found comfort in a group outside his home. He called them family at the time, but they're also known as the Latin King Gang. They're doing things like, you know, shooting and burning houses down and, and you know, putting fear in communities where people don't want to allow their children to play out in the front yard. We're going to put them to the test, as they say. Being a gang member is now in his past. He's traded time in the streets for time with teens with his nonprofit, Sabatis Educational Institution, Reclaim Our Kids. God gave you two ears for a reason. Why is it reclaim our kids? Because they're sucked into that particular lifestyle. So you're going out in there and you're reclaiming. You're reclaiming their mind, their emotions, and, and their aspirations. We help them redream. His mission? To try to reach youth dealing with bullying, gang pressure, or abuse. His means? His feet? His speech? and the courage to go to corners he once hung out on. Eventually when they're involved in that stuff, they're gonna to come to that crossroad or that brick wall and realize this isn't what I thought it was or kinda of got drawn into it a little bit deeper than I wanted to be at. And if they, they don't realize that, that's why we come and, and do group sessions and go speak at schools so they can hear it from a side of people who've actually lived that lifestyle and gone through that heartache. Trying to prevent teens from being initiated into a gang is dangerous work for him because he's standing up against organized crime. He says adults can better reach young people by avoiding labels like gangbanger or thug. If somebody's constantly giving you labels that you want to mouth to nothing, you're an LD and, and this and that, you begin to believe it. They distance themselves now, so what would have been more if easier uh, to reach out to them if you did just express love because you decided to speak negativity to that child, they ran closer into the gang. It's a lesson that 19-year-old Roberto Miranda got by going through a violent three years in a gang. I got jumped, shot at, just beat up, and never got any help. You just got to realize that they need you more than you need them. Now the student is passing on the lesson. I help talk to other kids. Um, basically, I look for ones that did the same thing I did, whether it be in the same gang or not. Try to make it up. Try to get back, get back to the community. We're not going nowhere. I'm not stopping.